All right, it's that time of year again. The Beesmas guys are back. I get all these quests. It's really awesome, except for this one. Now, if you don't play Beast Swarm and, and, and you don't understand, there are some aspects of this game that make sense, and then there are others that, um... Yeah, they're, they're, they're Beast Swarm, all right. Here, I'll, I'll give you a few examples. Number one, there is this bee, okay? His He is called the... What's his name? Digital Bee, okay? And I have him. He is available up to buy in this shop, and to buy him, you need a diamond cog amulet, very difficult, 7 million honey, 1,000 tickets, I see up the price again, and all these things. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, you just get these and get that, right? No, not as simple as that. Each of these takes 50 cogs. Now, oh, okay, so you just need five of those. It wouldn't take too long, it'd take a while. This you need five, and each of these takes five, and a hundred cogs. And each of them costs a million, and you need a gold cog amulet. Okay? Do you understand? This would take literal hours, so instead I just... I just... I... I... I, I would... Ne I would never skip the process of grinding for 400 years to simply get a digital bee. Oh, and I did gift him... Legitimately, I, I gifted him through the bears. I didn't get him illegitimately. It's just that I didn't grind for him because I didn't feel like, you know, dying, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It would have been pretty painful. This is the one that I'm working on right now. This one is also pretty bad. This is fine. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. And this is fine. This defeat a hundred ladybugs? Like, come on, man. But there are a couple things that have changed since last time we talked. Um, number one, most of my bees, like nearly all of them, are level 12 now. Okay? All of them are nearly level 12, and it's awesome, because that's what I've been spending all my billions on. Is I have maybe, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wait, really? Nine? Uh, whatever. It's eight or nine. Eight or nine that aren't like that. And it's, it's really painful to get. Whatever, I'll power through. Because I need to complete this quest. And the next time that I will be getting a gingerbread thing from the gingerbread hive is... Oh, 22 minutes. So that's not that bad. But if I have to run around every single field doing this and just killing them over and over and over... Like, I could at least, if I had to, murder five spiders. That, that's, that'd be painful, but it'd still work in the end. But a hundred ladybugs? There's only four at once. That's 25 uh, groups of four that you have to do. And you have to wait five minutes every time. Okay? That's like two or more hours of real in-game play time that you have to do. And it's like... Yeah, well, you just you can do that. I mean, you you put so many hours into this game. You've literally put well, I don't think this counts all of them, but like 18 hours at the least. It's like, yeah, I know that, but I don't want to put any more hours into this game, like that I don't have to. Plus, I'd have to be consistently grinding them, and I wouldn't be able to get any good boosts while I was doing it. So I just go around every once in a while, and I kill all four, and I I missed one. Is it this one? Did I forget to do this one? Yeah. And I get all them. And in that case, you might be wondering, well, then how are you going to get your blueberries and strawberries if you don't want to do that? Well, there are a couple ways, but the main one that I like trying to do is I will go over to here, blast through the cannon, and I will... You see that shop down there? I don't buy from there. Get trolled. What I was actually going to do is come over here and use the... The the I don't I don't want to miss. I'm pretty sure I know how to pronounce that, but just in case I'm not going to, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to mispronounce it. Now I need to get those because another one of the dumb quests is Riley B's Honey Day Candles. Okay, these are impossible to get. Basically, I don't even know how I have 50 of them. But if I go up here after getting the honeysuckles, then I'll go over here through the 15 gate and go over here, open the blender, 
Now let's let's look at a simple simple soft wax. Now I need 50 of these. These aren't that bad of materials, I guess. Let's see how many I can make. 10. I can make 10. I mean, do I even want to? Like I know I need to. Okay, actually that's fine. No cancel. Uh and these aren't that expensive either, so I'm fine with it. But I mean, still, that's so expensive, and I'm never, I'm never gonna use these besides this quest. Whatever, it's fine. And then I just speed it up for ten tickets. All right, now another, the next thing that I need to get for my person are the boots. I need to get the gummy boots. But I have 92 glitter out of a required 250. 250 glitter. I, uh, that's that's just insane. That's like that's that's so insane. But this is gonna this is actually gonna be the first coconut crab that I do with a hive of mostly level twelve bees, so it's nice to see that every almost every single one of my shots is hitting. I think as long as you are that level, it will hit I think it yeah, I don't think you have to be higher level. But just in case like just because I wanted some extra damage, I did make my vicious be level thirteen. So there's that. No, I just gotta inch my way closer. Yeah, and then so there is um like I said, there's a new B digital B, and it has this new ability here. Here it glitched the field. Now every time I like grab one of these tokens, there's a chance to like duplicate up in the field like this, and then you stand under it and you get it times the boost. But this can actually do this to the uh, spikes. And this may seem like, hey, it's some extra damage, I guess. Not that much. I mean, it's like the most critical hit you can get, but like times two. I guess it's pretty good. But that helped me, that single-handedly helped me defeat the stumps now. I'm not saying you should specifically get this upgrade because it will help you win the stump snail fight. I'm just saying that it is definitely something that you should definitely consider. Is I don't, I don't know. I... I <laughs> I actually did the uh, hours for like like minimum wage versus the digital B pricing, and I figured out that it is, and I figured out the hours that you can either put in game or minimum wage uh, if you really want to, um, and I found that it's actually much better to just pay for it. it I mean I was like I was laughing because I was like there's no way that this is actually accurate so I got a couple friends to look over it and they were like no yeah this is definitely right because now I have a friend who actually plays this game okay they're not very good but at least they play the game and not very good doesn't mean they're bad at Beast Swarm I'm not I'm not insulting them they're not that bad at Beast Swarm it just means that they don't have uh, as good stuff they're a Blue backpacker, but not the generic kind of blue backpacker that all those coconut backpackers hate. Uh, don't beg for items, by the way. Please don't. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're relatively okay at the game. Oh, okay. Now, nighttime used to not really mean anything to me, but now it means a whole lot. And there is a reason why, because now... Hopefully these people aren't also trying to get to them. But wherever there is fireflies, I do not see the fireflies. Are they still flying in? They might be still flying in. I might have accidentally leapt like a thousand years way too early. Whoops, my bad. Also, uh, I was talking with this uh, guy, and he was saying how he wanted to spend all his tickets on gumdrops. So that he could get the gummy bee. Now, I'm going to give this piece of advice to all of you. Gummy bee? Good. Buying gumdrops? Not a good idea. It's not worth it to buy gumdrops. Just collect them over time. Get, like, do sprouts. Use sprouts. And if you want to get moon charms, by the way, uh, Ana has specifically added... Not this feature into the game. I mean, he did specifically add this feature in the game to give moon charms. But after he added this, he specifically added something that would help you about ten times as much to get the moon charms. And that single thing is those sprouts. I just defeated one. 
it is very easy. Do the sprouts when you see them. And also every night, every time it turns night, go ahead and look for your free vicious bee because there's like this thing called night bells and those automatically spawn a vicious bee. But it's almost basically guaranteed that you'll get one as long as you as long as you go around and look. Now, while I'm doing this, because this is gonna be pretty do not steal my items, sir. Now, while I'm doing this, because this is gonna be pretty boring, let's look at uh let's look at this. I just wanna show you something. Now this first part, okay, is easy. I'm not gonna argue with you. This is pretty darn easy. This is even easy. It's just a little rare. Hunter cog mowers, very difficult, but definitely doable as long as I wanted to put all that hours into it. Cog turrets spawn at level 12 or 11, I think. Literally impossible. You know, like you're thinking, oh well, you have level 12 bees, you'll be fine. Wrong. You have no idea. No. How many did I get? Oh, that's barely anything. I got like eight. Ugh, whatever. It's like, no, that's... It's not good. It's not good. Okay. That, that That's not... That's bad. That This is so bad. And then Mega Mexquitos are even worse. It's like level 15 or 16. I'm gonna be here for years. I literally cannot get to that hive level. It is impossible. Okay. It is impossible. I can... I can show you that all this is possible. It's just time consuming. But this, this right here, that is impossible. I mean, like, even on it stated that it's like, you know, it's pretty impossible to get that far. And it's like, yeah. Oh, start round four? All right, let's see this. Um, Probably not this one. This one kind of stinks. Probably this one. Uh, Crimson and Bear. Optimize? That's not that bad. I'm gonna go with that. Start round. Alright. Oh my gosh. I haven't actually listened to music for this. I'm not sure if you can actually hear that, but... Jeez. That is good. Definitely listen to the music. Robo Bear Challenge will increase your stats 300 and... Uh, 5%. 305%. That is the guarantee. Also, I was editing the footage yesterday for, not yesterday, two days ago, for that uh, video I made on the Furbies, which, by the way, people uh, people did like. Also, thought I'd mention this because I thought it'd be funny. Dude, I hope your cat got back to sleep. I know you said it did, but my cat will wake up and then not go back to sleep. So, I just, there you go. Now, that video did well, and I was editing it, and then I, I saw that like, you can hear the Furby. I, I put a little text at the beginning. You can hear it throughout the video. It's so loud, and it's currently dead right now. I took the batteries out. That's only because it wouldn't stop screaming. Why is this one... Oh, actually, this is really good. Vicious B. Tabby, both really good. Um, one cogs for round ability pollen? Uh... Eh. Uh, I'll take the extra cog. Why not? All right. So now this round five is where it's like you might think that like you know you know which ones are going to be difficult in round nine and ten. That's where you think the difficulty would start. You would be very mistaken. Very 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 mistaken. Okay. This is this game is pure evil. Okay. I'm gonna use the coconut dispenser for the boost. Now that I look at it, though, might having a, a, I might be underestimating the amount of levels I needed to do this. But that's one of my main reasons that I'm upgrading my uh, bees is because I'm. I was thinking that this year may be the one that I at least like defeat stick bugs quest. And then I saw Stick Bugs Quest, and I was like, oh, wow, this is impossible. But, wow, level 12 bees are destroying this round. Also, did not expect this to work so well with the boost. And, yeah, also, join the club. I'm not sure if you need to join the club to gain that boost, but it, joining the club is free for... I'm not advertising the club. I'm just saying joining the club is free, and it gets you a lot of boosts. So do that, definitely. 
join on its beast warm. No, I'm not sure if it's a club or a group or whatever it's called, but join it. No matter what it's called, join it because it gives you a lot of boost in this game. And yes, that's very fun to get a lot of boost. I need to like bring these dudes away from the cog mowers because the cog mowers are annoying and I know I need to kill them for a quest, but it's like yeah, I need to kill them. I don't want to like constantly be near them, okay? Now, I am dying at the moment, so that's not good, not ideal. I need to murder some of these dudes. And usually I don't finish the uh, collection part of this first. Jeez, jeez, jeez. There we go, there we go. Alright, gaining some speed, gaining some speed. Ow, ow, nice. Yeah, see what I mean? See how difficult this can be? And then the round after this, if I even make it through this one, it's going to be a breeze because it doesn't have to de defeat... 25 little morons in it and my shots are landing but because I have so few bees at this point it's not a complaint I again like on it specifically stated that the bee that you get for doing all this was not meant for this type of like for a player that was just mid basically this is meant for someone who has almost nothing left to do. Like, at least for me, I have, like, gummy boots to grind for. And then after that, I guess I could go for the Tide Popper and the Gummy Baller. But this is made for people who just don't have a life. Like, I trust that all of us here will spend hours playing Beast Warm, but I don't think that all of us here would spend years in a row. Like, you might spend years playing a game. That doesn't mean you have no life. But... Spending years in a row playing the same game for the same extended period of time without ever stopping does not sound like fun to me. And I did the math, and I know it doesn't actually, you know, come out to a year. It comes out to more like a couple of weeks, but still, it's fine. Now, that was surprisingly simple. Welcome user. Starts round six. This only gets more difficult from here. Uh, no? Yes. Buoyant. I'm getting super lucky with these. Normalize. Zero critical chance. Zero critical chance. This is a bra moment. What is that? Two, time, two times pollen. Two times B attack. Zero critical chance. Z is that even worth it? Like, I have precise B. I think two times pollen. I'm going to have to go with it. I, I don't think that that's the best choice, but I think that, hmm, because that just, that just does my base, my base, I think. I, I don't think that's, like, constant, but as long as I have this boost going up here, I almost did not make that. I should be fine, because this is, I just defeated Coconut Crab, so, yeah. Ooh, white boost, nice. I'm... Um, Hopefully, I still get crits, because that was... Wait, did I just, like, absolutely... Yeah, because look. No, this is definitely worth it. Yeah, because that's going to double all my bees attack forever. Oh, wow. I got a speed bonus on round six? Jeez. Okay, this is just a good boost in general. Now I kind of feel bad for wasting it. Actually, I shouldn't be wasting this, because I can potentially get a lot more here. And I, if I see one that's just red or blue, I'll probably end up re-rolling... I don't want to steal this dude's stuff. Uh, talk to Robo Bear. Uh, start round seven. Um, let's see. Blue flower, bamboo, pine tree. This one is mushroom, pineapple. Hmm. I'm gonna re-roll. Collect five billion. That's definitely much better. That's definitely better, I think. Uh, probably Cobalt to go along with it and Photon. Virtual Pet, three times Fetch Pollen, 1.5. That is, that is good. That is, that, the B moves, I think the B move speed makes up for that completely. If, if it wasn't for the B move speed there, I don't think that would have worked, but B move speed definitely takes the cake. Also, I must have some sort of upgrade that I forgot that I got early on in the game because I feel like I'm collecting pollen at like a thousand times my normal rate of collection because this is crazy the amount that I'm collecting and how fast it's been 30 seconds and it, yeah because the cat scratch just gained me 600,000 it's definitely worth it 
And get the Tabby Bee. Mm, that's a good choice. I should give you some more advice while I'm doing this. Get the Tabby Bee, even if you think it's going to be a little bit worthless. Get the Tabby Bee as one of your first event bees, because you need to start collecting these Tabby Loves fast, because after stacking up for a while, that's going to become absolutely insane. Now, as long as I stand on the opposite side of the field, I should be fine. Is, are popping these bubbles going to give me anything good? No, it's not going to give me something that good. This is unfortunate. Not what I really want right now. Um, I don't think I can kill them. I think I just have to keep running around. And if I need to, I think I... Mm, never mind. See, Cat Scratch. That's all I had to wait for. Like, even if all my bees are constantly distracted, as soon as my cat bee is free to do anything, it's going to immediately launch the winning shot. Also, Windy Bee is really good for this fight because of this. Speed? I got a speed bonus for that? I feel like that took a million years. Whatever, it's fine. Now, Scorpions must die. Alright. Uh, I don't know what my previous record is. It's probably like 9. Uh, do this. Welcome user. Start round 8. Yeah, I think it's probably 9. Uh, 12 million pollen. 4 million red and blue. Definitely this. Fuzzy Bee. Digital! We are getting super lucky. Um, get this, this, I think all of these are worth it. I think, I think all of them were worth it. That's definitely good. Also, I think the music changed. 12 million pollen. Now, why did I choose 12 million pollen? Well, number one, this, there's a cloud in this field too. This is going to, like, take no time at all, I hope. I really hope. Uh, but, yeah, cat scratch, 2 million. Cat scratch 2 million. You all saw it. Will this upgrade my crit? And I failed anyways. Doesn't even matter. Whatever. Alright. Yeah, I'm already halfway done. Already halfway done. It's not even close. Oh my gosh. Get get these upgrades, man. Get these upgrades. And then I'm just going to walk around the edge. And done. Speed bonus upgrade. But I think that, that might get me all the honey that I just used back. Or all the things that I just used. All the cogs. Talk to Robo Bear. Start round nine. All right. Collect blue flower. This. It's got to be that. Frosty or Riley? Probably Frosty. Vector. Really? That's so good. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that's just a good thing in general. And just in case we get stuck, would this be? I think I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. All right. Twenty-four million pollen. It, this is this is a good round. Also, the more that you do, the better ticket thing that you get. Now, I'm going to do something a bit weird, which is I'm going to put down a glitter. But this is only because I need to get this field up. Come on, there's a million pollen. Just a million. Ju Look at this! I'm ju I, I feel like I'm over exaggerating how good this is because there's probably like a million different ways that I could be doing everything that you're seeing a thousand times better but like jelly beans I can, I can get like free these like I'm getting speed bonuses every single time have I even killed a cogmower this entire game no I haven't I haven't killed a single one that is how dumb this quest is that is how dumb that this quest is but yeah I'm like, look at that vector. I don't know what level I have to be to get the silver cog amulet, but I have the bronze right now. I might have to defeat round 10. That would make sense. Yeah, 16 million reward. He should really upgrade the rewards that you get for these, but whatever. I mean, the, re the reward honey. Now, talk to Robo Bear. Start round 10. All right, here's the big one. I think this is silver. Defeat 10 cog mowers, 60 million white. It's easy. I mean, not easy, but whatever. We need bees that can do attack. Festive is probably the best choice here. Hello? There we go. Uh, this. That is good. Um, That's all we need. That's that's all we need. As, if, if we can get more white pollen, then that's fine. Now, defeating 10 cog mowers around the map might be a bit tricky. Ugh. Alright. I'm going to use a marshmallow bee to increase capacity and white pollen. 
This is sort of like using just a regular old upgrade. Uh, Tabby Love? I don't think that does anything, because I already have that maxed out. Wait, so Cogmore is around the map. Does that mean that they're not going to be spawning in the field that I'm in? Or how does this work? Because I feel like that is a little bit weird if it doesn't just spawn in the field that I'm in. Because it does before. Also, I have like a 30% dodge chance now, which is really funny to me. Because it means I can basically just run into anywhere and I'll be fine. Yeah, does this mean that they're just around the map or do I have to wait long enough? How does this work? Because if they're around the map, that might be a bit tricky. I think they're around the map. That kind of stinks. Because it would have just said cog mowers. Dang it. Alright. Um, this might be the end for me. Uh, this might be the end. Uh, at least I'll get some good rewards from this, right? That's pretty good. And there we go. Get this. Pretty much. Just got to collect all of this. I think the instant conversion is actually pretty bad in this because you want to be able to hold a lot in your backpack, but the instant conversion kind of stops that. So, you know what? Whatever. It's fine. Can't really do anything about it. Oh well, right? So, now what? We gotta kill all these dudes. Uh, come on. I just need a few more. I just need a few more. A bit more time. If I could get any more time, that would be very nice. See, that did not give me any critical chance, which either I did that poorly or something, or I just failed. Come on, come on. I just, the problem now is that even if they are around the map, I need to get this white pollen done right now. And by right now, I mean I have like a couple million left to go. And every second counts, so... Come on, bees. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all fast. Okay, okay, come on. Yes, this is it, this is it. Okay, okay, let's go. Alright, what am I supposed to do? There. Okay, I see them. So, there's just gonna be some in random fields? Really? Oh, and these are all level 11. Oh, this is gonna take a thousand years to defeat. Whatever. I'm not sure if this is possible for me to defeat. Oh, yay, a diamond aphid. How fun. Oh, it's level 12, too. Good, I'm glad this is happening. All right, uh, I'm not sure what I should focus on. Uh, I definitely can't defeat this. I can't defeat this. This is impossible. Uh, I think I'll have to give up. All right, well, that was nice. And let's just go ahead and murder this. Now, I don't want... I'm going to keep old. Ugh. Alright. There we go. There you have it. Another bee swarm. Well, I did not win these. I mean, I did get another drive. Which means I have one out of five red. Which I guess is okay. And this actually went on longer than I thought it would. This is going to be a long episode. But I'm going to feed these to you. Until gifted. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, well, yeah, that's going to be about it. So, yeah, we did what we wanted, at least a little of what we wanted. Now I need the one billions. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then we have 600,000, and we can feed them to the rest of our bees. So level up, level up. Level up. And, of course, finally, level up. Which means we only have one, two, we only have four Bs left until level 12. So, yeah, that's it. I don't have an outro, so bye.